Uh, excuse me, good morning. Thank you for taking my call. Can you say that again? That sounded like a long introduction. My name is Mrs. Tao, T as in Tom, O W E. My ID number is 1073 Well, thank you very much. This is Patrick Coyle. Uh, I'm calling from Livermore, California on behalf of the Rotary Foundation of Livermore the Rotarian Foundation of Livermore. We are a uh, tax-exempt 501c3, and uh, there's a little bit of confusion. I, and I'm not, uh, I'm not the president or the treasurer, but I'm on the, uh, uh, the grants committee and the fundraising committee. And the reason for the call is um, there's been a question about whether or not we are able as uh, in our capacity as a tax-exempt 501c3 to accept donations on a tax-exempt basis from the members of the two clubs who the foundation has been started by the noon and the morning club of Rotary here in Livermore, California. And the question is, can we accept uh, 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 donations from individuals for specific well-defined project or activities that further our RFL tax exempt purposes. And some people had heard that there was some new rules that say we can't, or, or even further that we cannot make grants to people who are other than uh, other 501c3s. And so we are, uh, we've got our CPA looking at it and if need be, we'll get our attorney to look at it. But I, when I, I have another 501c3 that's been running for several years, so I'm familiar with the process of setting one up before I had uh, uh, attained our, our 501c3 status for the other uh, nonprofit I'm involved in. We uh, worked with another organization who served as our fiscal, uh, fiscal sponsor, and uh, I just wanted to see whether or not, based on just um, a quick conversation, whether it's straightforward to say what the answer to this, you know, my take on this is the regulatory framework is clear that our foundation can accept donations for a specific designated purpose and then make a grant to an organization that is not uh, uh, described in Section 501c3 of IRS as long as it's to perform activities aligned with our foundation's uh, tax-exempt purposes. Clearly, you have, you, you have to make sure that that you're not just giving funds to somebody who's then going to turn around and lobby for a political campaign or do something that would be in violation of our um, our tax exempt purposes. But is it easy? Is this hard? Is this? A, or has there been some change in the rules? I just would love to hear your your take on this. No, there hasn't been any change in rules. I mean, we don't get too involved in organizations' internal operations. They can accept donations um, from anyone if they choose to, and they can use the funds. Okay, that's the key thing. You can't. You have to make sure that it's consistent with your your tax exempt purpose, right? Correct. Okay, you know this seems like a, a long time to be on hold, but I really thank you for your quick and and crisp answer to this, and I'll pass that on to the board. They the thing is they don't want to hear my opinion uh, or somebody else on the board's opinion. They want to hear it from either our attorney or our CPA, or in this case from IRS. So thank you so much for your help. You're welcome. Thank you and have a great day. Sure appreciate it. Bye-bye.